my beautiful people. So for this NYX Space Awards challenge video, I decided to take the theme of optical illusions and make it into something a little bit different than what you would think. I essentially created the illusion that my skin has been cracked open and you can see what's lying underneath. You can see I have a broken heart, broken ribs, a tear streaming down my face, meaning that I'm hurting inside but I don't show it on the outside, making it more of a metaphorical makeup look. With everything going on in the world right now, I just really, really wanted to create something that had to do with not spreading hate anymore and to just spread as much love as you possibly can. And I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. I hope you love the intro and the look. And let's go ahead and get started and I will explain all about the voting and updates on the NYX Face Awards in the end of the video. Hope you enjoy the tutorial. Let's get started. Before we get started, yes, I did include the magical floating hand again in this tutorial because I think it's hilarious. So first we're going to start off by outlining the crack in my face with the NYX Glide On Eyeliner in Pure White and then fill that in with the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and then I'm just going to tap that out with my ring finger, making it smooth and easy to work with. Now with the NYX Gel Liner in white, I'm just going to sharpen up that, out that outside line, tongue twister, and make it look as sharp as possible because this crack is supposed to be a crack, not a blurred line, if that makes sense. And then I'm going to go over this process a few times throughout the whole process. Then I'm taking the NYX Loose Finishing Powder and just setting that on top of the white and taking the NYX Single Eyeshadow. I can stop saying NYX because of course it's NYX. This is the NYX Face Awards. Anyways, taking the NYX Single Eyeshadow in Hot Black, I am just outlining everything and then also blending that black into the white to make it look gray and seamless. Now for the eyebrows underneath the crack, I wanted to do something very colorful because I didn't want the look to be too gray, so I took the Electro Liners in Candy Heart and Riot, Riot-y, not sure, and I just created my brow. Then I take the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette, which is the very, very colorful one, and I am just taking the turquoise and blue shades out of that and creating a blue smoky eye so that it transitions into the blue teardrop on the bottom, which we will get to at the end of the tutorial. I'm just taking the three blue shades in the palette and just really smoking them out and blending them together, making it look like I'm sort of sad on this other side. And then I'm also taking the single eyeshadow that I used before in black and just intensifying the look whenever, wherever I need to be intensified. Now for a winged liner, I decided to take the Vivid Brights liner in Vivid Sapphire and add a little bit more blue to the look because I decided that the other eye should be more neutral and brown. Then I'm taking the NYX Glitter Primer or Adhesive and the Glitter in 03 and putting that on my lid. Then I'm taking the NYX Full Figured Mascara and some falsies, the Wicked Falsies, and putting that on my top lashes. Then I decided to smoke out my bottom lash line a little bit more, add some of that mascara, and also put on a pair of the Wicked Lashes on the bottom. Then I'm just taking the glitter in 07 and putting that on my tear duct. Then I'll be taking the single eyeshadow in Smoke and Mirrors and just putting that on the inside of the crack and also taking that black eyeshadow and creating some cheekbones and shadows wherever I need it. Now for the normal side of my face, I'm starting off with a beauty sponge and some of the Stay Matte But Not Flat foundation in the shade 02 and just blending that in wherever I have bare skin, obviously to create a flawless canvas. Then I'm taking the HD concealer in 02 as well and patting that on any of the high points of my face where I want it to be brighter and lighter. 
Then I'm going to take some of that finishing powder that we used before on that beauty sponge and place it on any areas where I had liquid foundation or concealer, so basically everywhere. Then I'm taking some of that single black eyeshadow again and creating more cracks and details in the facial crack as well. Now for the shadows on the outside of the crack to make it look more realistic, I'm taking the NYX Contour Palette and taking the brown shades and just shading it along the outsides of the white edges. It's very simple and it makes it look a lot more realistic. Now taking that same contour palette and just creating some cheekbones and I'm really going all out for this like it looks really dark because I want it to be super dramatic and noticeable. Then I'm taking the NYX blush in Mauve and Out and putting that on my cheeks. Now with the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Taupe, I'm just filling in my brows how I normally do, making them a little bit more dramatic than normal but they still look pretty normal. Then with the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, I am just putting that as a eye base and to make the colors pop out a little bit better. Then I'm just curling my lashes to get ready. And I'm actually taking the contour palette that I've used before and just taking those four brown shades along the bottom of it and creating a halo eye to make it look very sultry and dramatic. Then just taking their liquid black liner and creating a dramatic wing and then I'll be coating my lashes with mascara as I did before and putting on the same falsies that I did the other eye. Then I'm taking the Glide On Pencil in black as well, tight lining and water lining my eyes to make it look very sultry and very dramatic and I'm just gonna blend that out, buff it out and then take the warm brown colors from the contour palette and blend everything out. Now for my chest part, I am going to be doing pretty much the same thing that I did to my face, taking the Glide On Pencil in Pure White and just outlining anything that I want to be inside the crack. So the heart, the broken ribs, like I don't know what these things are called in the heart. I did take anatomy, I didn't retain anything, so sorry if this doesn't look accurate, it's just my representation. But yeah, I'm just outlining everything how I want it to be. And again, taking the Jumbo Pencil in Milk and filling in any of the areas that are going to have the gray in it, so basically the background of the look. I'm going to fill in the ribs and the heart and all that later, but I just want to make sure that the white part is there before I start to put on color or anything like that. And also following up with the gel liner in white and just making everything look crisp. I do realize after I did the whole chest part, I could have waited to do that part at the end so I didn't have to do it again. But you live and you learn, whatever. So I'm just setting the whole chest piece with the finishing powder and then outlining it in black exactly like I did the face part. So we're just going to go ahead and show a little bit of that but then skip forward because it's a long, long process. And once that's all done, I'm just going to create some excess cracks in the skin to make it look a little bit more detailed and realistic. Then with that same gray eyeshadow that I did before on my face and I'm just filling in any of the areas that have white on it and this is just going to make it easier in the end so I don't have to go over the pieces like the rib piece and the heart edges all over again. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Now I'm just taking the black eyeshadow and just making it a little bit more intense around the edges. Then with the white gel liner, I'm just going over the edges one more time. This is the part where I could have totally skipped the first time, but whatever. Now I'm taking the white gel liner mixed with a little bit of foundation to give it more of like a brownish yellowish tint, and I'm filling in the rib piece.
Now for the heart, I'm gonna be taking the four lipsticks. Two of them are Macaroon Lippies in Blue Velvet and Miami Nights, and the other two are Velvet Mattes in Pistachio and Disorderly Chaotic. Whoa, that's a large name. And I wanted to use lipsticks because they are the most pigmented and vibrant colors that I could find out of NYX. And they're really, really beautiful colors and they blended very easily, so it just worked out for me. And I'm just gonna fill that in and then start outlining everything in black. I don't want anything to be too harsh because I don't want it to come off any more cartoonish than it already is. I want it to look very realistic. Then I'm going to take the contour palette with the brown shades and shade the bone parts. And then I'm just taking the black eyeshadow, outlining the heart and the bones. And yeah, then I take some white eyeliner and create a little bit of white highlights on the heart and the bone. And I'm just shadowing it, highlighting it, going back and forth. Then for the band-aids, I'm taking the same mixture that I used for the bone, some white gel liner and some foundation, and basically just drawing on band-aids to show that my heart is aching and it needs a bandage. Now with some black eyeshadow, I'm just creating some stitches and then taking the contour palette again and making those shadows on the outside of the white to make it look a little bit more realistic. Then I decided to add some bruises on the outsides of the cracks and I'm taking a makeup sponge and I just tore off some pieces on the ends of it to make it very rough and bruisey like I guess. Then I'm taking the SFX cream color by NYX in orange, purple, and yellow and I just blend them together. Then I just pop on some pink lust liquid suede and that is basically it for the makeup. I seriously cannot thank you guys enough for letting me be a part of this journey. This has been so, so fun and I still can't believe that I made the top 12. It's honestly really mind-boggling to me. Yes, I just said mind-boggling. That's how mind-boggling it is. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This was one of my favorite looks that I have ever made. Now on to talk about the most important part of this whole process and this competition, and that is voting. So if you want to vote for me or just vote for anybody that is your favorite contestant, hopefully it's me, you want to go to nickspacewards.com from July 15th to the 22nd. You have a whole week to vote for the person that you want to win. You can vote up to three times a day per person or per email, depending on how many emails you have. And if I get enough votes, that means that I will be pushed to the top six, which is the final round of the Nick Space Awards. And that is a big, big deal. And there's gonna be some exciting things if that happens, but I need you guys to push me further into the competition. And I just wanna say thank you so much for your constant support, your constant love, and for those of you who don't spread any hate, thank you for making the world a better place. And before I end this video, I just want to say if you have any questions at all that you don't think I answered, it will be in the description down below. That is going to have everything that you need to know in it. And I just want to say I love you guys so, so much. I don't think you'll ever understand how much I do love you. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys!